885 square equals to what? What do we do? I think the easiest way to do this would be just apply how you find 45 square, right? I mean, if you have looked at our speed maths video, I've told you 45 square, it's easy to calculate. Any number that ends in 5, the square root end in 25. Take the remaining part of the number, multiply with the next integer. So 4 into 5, 20. So 2025. Like I need 75 square. What is 75 square? 7 into 8. Yes or no? How do you find out 75 square? Take the number at 10th place. 7, 7 times 8, 5, 6. It ends with 25. Let's say we need 85 square. 8, 9 is 72, 7, 2, 2, 5. I mean, this is how we find out squares of numbers ending in 5, right? So 885, fortunately here it's ending in 5, so it's easier. What do we do? Because it is ending in 5, the answer would end in 25. What comes here in the remaining part? You just take this number, 88. Multiply with the next integer, which is 89. That's it. Here it's a single digit. Here there are two digits. Whether two digits or three digits or four digits, the method remains the same. 88 into 89. Now, this calculation has to be done very quickly. 88 into 89. How do you want to do? Now, 88 into 89 again can be done in multiple ways. 88 into 89, like maybe you can do split and merge. 89 can be taken as 100 minus 11 or 80 plus 9 or 88 plus 1. Or you can take it as 88 squared plus 88. Are you getting it? For example, if you want to break 89 as 88 plus 1, if I break it as 88, all this will happen very quickly in your brain, right? Don't look at the length of the explanation. If it is 88 plus 1, what happens? 88 into 88, 88 squared plus 88 into 1 is 88. That's one way of doing it. Or maybe you can say 8800 minus 880 minus 88. I mean, if you want to take, let's say, 89 as 100 minus 10 minus 1. So what happens? 88 into 100. 8800 minus 88 into 10 880 minus 880 into 1 88 i mean that's one more way of doing it right so whichever way you like so just do this calculation and put it here you're done is that all? or you can take it as 90 minus 1 if you want 88 into 90 minus 88 into 1 what is 88 square by the way we have discussed this we have discussed how to find out squares of numbers up to 100 or even beyond that you can just extrapolate the technique there right 88 square i'll take it as 100 minus 12 so 10000 minus 2400 7600 plus uh, 12 square 144 right so 7744 7744 plus 88 so 7740 plus 80 will be 7820 plus 12 7832 this number comes here 783225 and I hope I have not committed any mistake anyway, right? Yeah, 88 squared is double seven times 4 plus 88. This will result in the answer. 885 squared. So, Sridhar, I think this is not new. We have discussed this in our speed maths video, right? If you look at the speed maths video, we have discussed how to find out squares of numbers ending in 5. 885 also is no different, right? It's just that instead of 85, it is 885. So, 88 should be multiplied with 89. There are other ways of doing it. I mean, if you don't want to do it this way, how can this be done? I mean, if, if you see, 880, you can apply a plus b whole square. I mean, I'm just throwing one more way of doing it. What happens? Let's see. 885 can be taken as 850 plus 35 square. Now, how you break the number is important, right? 885 could also be, or, or maybe I think a better way of doing it is like 900 minus 15 square. 900 minus 15 square, right? So a, a minus b whole squared the formula, right? So 900 squared minus 2 into 900 into 15 plus 15 square. Now this 2 into 900 into 15 is the most important calculation. Because anyway, we all know that a square is 900 square, b square is 15 square. What matters is this minus 2ab part. Now always remember, if, if you have gone through the video where we have discussed about finding out squares of numbers, we have always said up to the numbers 80 from 31 to 80, always take the base as 50. From 81 to 130, I had told this there, right? Take the base as 100. <coughs> Just continue. From 180, uh, 131 to 180, the base should be chosen as 150. And so on. From 181 to 230, you better take the base as 200. Your life becomes easy if you break it this way. Yeah, if you just continue this way. So what happens from 31 to 80, the base is 50 means what? Whatever is, you know, I mean, what do you do? Like if it is B is 15, we subtract 1500. You are getting it. Like for example, let's say it is 50 minus 15 whole square. Just look at this. Instead of 900, if we have 50 minus 15 whole square, the idea was 2AB. 2AB will become what? 2 into 50 into 15. 
Forget about a square and b square. a square will be 50 square, b square will be 15 square. So that will anyway remain the way it is. But what is the 2ab calculation? 2 into a into b, 2 into 50 into 15. So 2 into 50, 100 into 15, 1500. So the technique that was discussed in the video was, if it is minus 15, subtract 1500. I mean, it will be minus 2ab, right? So it will become minus 1500. If it is minus 16 here, subtract 1600. If it is minus 23 here, subtract 2300. Easy, just depends on the value of b. The moment you take it as 100 minus 15 or 100 plus 15, what happens? Let's say 100 plus 15. So what will be the 2ab part? 2 into 100 into 15. Now the point to be noted here is, see what, what is the advantage we are trying to multiply with 100. In the previous case, 15 was getting multiplied by 100. In this case, there is 100 already available with us. So we double 15 because 2 into b is there, right? We double 15. So 2 into 15, 30 and we take those many hundreds, 30 hundreds is 3000. We add or subtract depending on this sign. Suppose it is 150, 150, 150 plus 15. The understanding is this, <coughs> 150 plus 15 whole square. This time what I will do is 15 into 3, 45, I will take 4500. Suppose it is 200 plus 15. Now 200 is 50 times 4. So 4 into 15 is 60, 60 into 100, 6000. Has to be added or subtracted depending on whether we have plus or minus here. You're getting it. I mean, that's why I say the you know practice is very important. Just learning the technique will not help. If you had practiced on a few sums on finding out squares, you would have understood that this is a technique. Like for example, if I have to do let's say 350 plus 16 whole square, I know that a square will be 350 squared, b square will be 16 square. What will be the 2ab part? This is 15 to 7, right? So 16 into 7. 16 into 7 will be how much? It will be 112. So 1200, 11,200 should be added, and I'm done. A square, b square will take like simple 35 square is 1225 so this will be uh, 1225 0, 0. this is 256 this is 11200 what you just need to do is add the terms now you're getting it so basically you have to look at a as how many times 50 1 times 50 2 times 50 3 times 50 4 times 50 so those many times you multiply by 15 and take those many hundreds here it is 7 times 50. So 7 times into 16, 112 and take those many hundreds. Plus or minus will depend on the sign in between them. Here it is 900. 900 if you see is 18 times 50. 50 into 18. So what happens is 2 into 50 becomes 100. 18 into 15 is a calculation now. What is 18 into 15? 18 into 15 is 270. 270 to 100? 27,000, right? So that's it. 900 square. How much is this? Right, eight lakh ten thousand minus twenty seven thousand plus two twenty five. So eight lakh ten thousand minus twenty seven thousand. It's like eight lakhs minus seventeen thousand, which is uh, seven lakhs eighty three thousand. Seven lakhs eighty three thousand two twenty five. I know this would sound crazy <laughs> to most of you. Who would do all this? I'll better multiply eight eighty five with eight eighty five. Yes, if you think this is gonna take less time for you, please do that. But in my view. You should have practiced enough to make sure that you do it mentally by using one or the other technique here.